you have access database. Do you have a lot of queries? Because I'm thinking you probably have a lot of queries. Well, that can make your database run really slow and be really large. So I'm going to show you how to take one query and make it work like several. It's called the parameter query in Microsoft Access, and it allows the program to ask you instead of you asking it what you'd like to see in each query. So save yourself some time, give yourself and your database a break, and let me show you the parameter query in Microsoft Access. A parameter query is for the most part a mistake that you're usually trying to avoid in your Access database, but I'll come back to that. Let's start with what is a parameter query and why would I need one? Well, first off, a parameter query is a query that allows the program to prompt you every time the query is run, and it allows you to cut the, dramatically cut the number of queries that you have in your Access database. So let me start this demonstration by moving to the Create tab and then creating a query in Query Design. When I choose Query Design, the Show Table box appears and I can add the Employees table. I'll close that Show Table box, add a few fields. By the way, a little trick for adding fields. If you select the first one, then hold the Shift key, you can then select all the ones from your start to an end location. And then I'll just grab any one of them and drag it to the first position in the grid. When I let that go, I get all the fields. By the way, you can select all of them if you just double click the employee's name here at the top. That's called the title bar. All right, so let me get one more and I'll move to the salary field and drag that in also. So now when I run the query, what I get are all of the salaries for every employee in every state. Now I'm gonna go back to the design view and then this time change the criteria in the criteria line to just return the salaries from California. So if I click the run button, I now just see the California salaries. But as you're probably noticing, every time I want to change to a different state, I've got to go back to the design view and then go back to the criteria line and then change the criteria. One way I can stop that is by saving the query and having a query for each state. But as you might imagine, eventually I'm going to have at least 50 queries and probably a lot more depending upon how I'd like to slice and dice that information. That's where a parameter query comes in. So let's go back to our basic query that we created. Then I'm going to go to back to the design view. So as I mentioned earlier, a parameter query is really a mistake that you're usually trying to avoid. And that mistake or error often occurs when you change the name of a field or mistype something. So as you can see our field city here in the grid, I'm going to remove the Y from that field name and then run the query. When I run the query, the program does not recognize the field CIT and throws up a parameter error. Basically, what are you talking about? So I'll cancel out. And if you look at that same query in SQL view, what you'll notice is that each of those fields has a bracket. When something's inside of the bracket that is not a field, you get the exact same parameter error. So what we're going to do is take that error, move it to a different location, and let that error work for us instead of against us. So I'll move back to the design view. We'll change the city field back to city and then move to the state or province field. But this time I'm going to right click on the first criteria line in that field and then go to the zoom window. Zoom is really just a big box for typing. 
So to create our parameter query, we'll start with the word like, then an open square bracket, then the phrase that we'd like to use for a prompt. So in this case, what state please? Might as well be nice about it. Then I'll close the bracket on the right side and then add an ampersand and then in quotation marks, an asterisk or the wildcard character. So I'll close that quote. And for the most part, what I've done is wrap a wildcard around a field that does not exist. So when I'm prompted, anything that I type into the field plus any characters to the right, and yes, you can do it to the left also. When I click OK, those characters are on the criteria line, and so anything that's typed into the box acts as criteria. So let's run that query. We then get the prompt. We'll type in the state because we're in the state or province field. And when I press enter or click OK, you're then presented with all the salaries from that state. Now, how can I use this in real life? Well, if I close and save this query, at any point I can just double click the query in my objects view, and then I'm prompted with a state. So let's pick a different state and when I press OK or enter, I'm now given the salaries. So that takes our multiple queries, 50 at least, and then turns them into one query. Now, one added advantage, the wildcard at the end of that parameter query allows us to double click the query or run it. And if we provide it with no state and just click OK, we are now given all the states and all the salaries. Great for reports and gives you one more query. So 51 queries from one query. So you hope you found that to be a useful example. Uh, I hope that this saves you a lot of time and your database a lot of room. So until our next video, thanks for joining me and I'm Wayne. Thank you.